Welcome to another episode of uh, No Skills Required. Today we have this uh, flasher, which has got an adjustable and on off thing. And we're gonna take a look inside this thingy to see what circuit is driving these LEDs. As you can see here, it's flashing, but according to the port, you can put it to make faster, intermediate, and lower settings. Alright, so let's tear this one apart. I'm gonna start by removing these lateral screws. As you can see here, shouldn't be nothing fancy, but just something to get us going. Let's try to remove this one. This is the battery is inside here. Should be three or four. I got four of them. Double batteries. It's lasted quite quite a while. These batteries are quite old. <coughs> it's got here on front this cover, which is could be reusable as well for other projects. No question about that. Oops. And right then, here it is. This is the LED. Let's try to take them out. Mm -hmm. Ah, they are glued. Gosh, they're, they're just glued in place. Go. This one could be nice. So the LEDs are in parallel, that's a good thing to know. It's got another two screws here, let's take these ones apart. Uh, Alright, it's got another one on this side. Alright, we have managed to take them apart. This is it. There we go. This is the circuit. There you have it. This is the circuit box. You know, on off. This is the port that's regulating the speed, and it's got three transistors, which are S nine zero one four C three T one. Yeah, all of them are alike. Uh, one, two, three, three register the same value, and three of them different values. And the capacitors are 16 volts, uh, 47 microfarads. There you have it. We're gonna try to deconstruct this, uh, this diagram. Stay tuned. Let's see if uh, our device here is gonna work on a rechargeable lithium ion cell, a cheapy one that we have here laying around. So, as you can see, I'm gonna turn the pot. Yeah, so it's working, no problem there. Let's measure the current drawing. So, on the rapid flashing mode, it's drawing like 20 milliamps. And on the lower settings, the same is drawing, but at intervals of a couple of uh, seconds, as you can see here. All right, so let's proceed to the reverse engineering of this board. All right, stay tuned. All right, so as you can see here, this is the output. This is the input part of, the, of this diagram schematics. Uh, as we can see here in this diagram is nothing special, could be an, a stable multivibrator, like this one that I'm put here, a classical LED LED flasher with a simple twist, uh, which is this pot here, 
that's gonna adjust the flashing rate of the stuff and it's got an extra transistor here and as we are gonna look on the back of the board from what I'm seeing this transistors because all the transistors are connected to the same pin I'm guessing this transistor is an NPN one all right so I'm gonna search for it just a sec yeah we was right apparently this uh, all these three transistors are NPN ones so as we're gonna start from here we're gonna see the input wires here so power goes in through a switch of course and then there is this uh, variable resistor which we're gonna draw it like this this is not the proper schematic but nonetheless and then we're gonna have like one two three three resistors so first one is gonna be like so the other one nearly here between this and this we're gonna go through a capacitor then we're gonna have the third one righty then from here <coughs> to this third one we're gonna have this transistor gonna be like so and from here is not gonna touch this connection <laughs> and we're gonna have this same transistor but put it the other way so we're gonna have a connection here between this connection this point here and this is going to be the second capacitor then we have them both connected I'm guessing to ground All right so from this pin from this one here I'm guessing is going to be another resistor cannot see properly just a second folks so the easiest way to do it is to flash a light underneath the board and you're gonna see the connections here so as you can see here let me remove these wires for you it's very tricky and very deceiving as well as you're gonna see this transistor is gonna connect it here to the minus then it's gonna follow this resistor then it's gonna go to the output and then is going through through another resistor yeah maybe if this is what we can see this is it. so it's gonna be another transistor which I'm guessing is the same not the same but it's the same type like NPN type and those LEDs which are this one in parallel as well and then connected uh, in between here is gonna be a resistor in between the, the thingy this one goes to ground as well and this is it yeah so roughly this is the schematic friends this is the, the the roughly schematics the values we cannot see it at the moment we can measure it but you never know all right so there you have it we can modify this one of course on this output here we can put a mosfet transistor and we can flash wherever leds we want thanks all for watching friends in the meanwhile thumbs up subscribe and see you on the next one energy yeah Reverse engineering, friends. Hmm, how about that? Jesus. See ya.